The boomerang monkey and I have a love-hate relationship. If you know, you know. But it did just get buffed in the most recent update, and here's what they changed. The 003 Kylie Boomerang used to be 1300, and now it's going to be 1100. The 004 Moat Press used to be 3200, and now it's going to be 3400. The 040 Turbocharged used to be 4350, and now it's going to be 4500. And finally, the 050 Permacharged used to be 35k, and now it's going to be 33k. In Ninja Key, we said we would like to give some more love to Kylie Boomerang, since this upgrade has always been the less favorable of the Tier 3 Boomerangs. Moat Press has had its price adjusted since it didn't need any indirect buffs. Also, Turbocharge has always stood out as an excellent defending option, so that has received a small price nerf. So we're going to be showcasing these changes in today's video to see how good the Boomer is now. And if you do enjoy, do not forget to drop a like. And as well, we are trying to hit 500,000 subscribers by the end of this year. And we're currently around 53,000 subscribers away from that. But with your help, we can hit it, so subscribe. And we're gonna be using Fedora as our hero. And it looks like our opponent instead is gonna be using Star Captain Jericho. But we got the strategy Boomer Mortar Spike Factory on the map star. And guys, I have no idea what I'm doing with this strategy. But hey, at least here on round one, he didn't send me any eco whatsoever. Wait, what? Did he just sell a bomb into Star Captain Jericho? Okay. Surely that's not the play. And now he's going for a double sub tower boosting. Oh, there's too many things going on. Way too many things going on, bro. And then he sells the sub to replace it with the bomb. Oh my goodness, what is happening? What? Yeah, dude. St you know you're trolling. You're a <laughs> you're actually trolling. You're legitimately. There's no way you're not. And now you're just gonna face palm, bro. I I don't even know what happened. There, there's just so much that happened. Okay, you're gonna sell the sub. Okay, okay. I'm I'm done. Okay. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> he's either trolling or like i don't even okay he even sold the balloon bot dude okay now you're just doing too much bro now you're doing too much okay finally he's gonna start sending us something grouped freaking yellows or not grouped space yellows but guys if you know me then you probably know that i absolutely hate the boomer now i have actually promoted the boomer up to my second least favorite tower not my number one least favorite tower and of course you're gonna balloon boost space pinks at me yeah there's not much that I can do about that. And actually, I probably should be sending myself, or not myself, you space pinks. I have no idea what's going on right now. And look, this is why I hate the boomer. Prime example, I went for a $1,300 upgrade and I'm still leaking. This is why I hate the boomer, bro. I don't care if I'm chasing already, bro. It shouldn't freaking still leak. Like, look at this. Look at this, bro. I hate the boomer. I hate it. You know what? Boom, you're about to go back to my number one spot. Boomer, defend. Oh my God, this is why I hate it. This is why I hate it, bro. I had to tower boost that. Oh my. Yeah, a 302. Oh my. I put over $2,000, which doesn't seem like that much, but on round five, it is quite a bit of money into this boomer. And I was still leaking, bro. This is why I don't care, bro. This is, I don't care if I did something wrong or if I was chasing. I, I like towers where you, you just set them down. And they kind of do their own thing, you know what I mean? Like, let's say, for example, the Spike Factory, okay? Yes, you can target it differently if you go with the bottom path upgrades. But for the most part, Spike Factory just does its own thing. It, it pops balloons for you, and you don't have to do anything else, really, okay? The Boomer, no. No, no, no. The Boomer is not like that. And same thing with the Heli, which is actually my least favorite tower. But again, like, the Boomer, you're about to go back to my least favorite tower in all battles, too, bro. And I should be sending group gels, but I just had to go on a rant there for a second because, man, oh, man, like, what is this tower, bro? And also, oh, I just now remembered I'm going to have to go for a spike battery or something for the camo balloons here or else I'm just dead. <laughs> oh, gotta love Star Captain Jericho, man, right? I mean, surely, see, look, the spike battery, you, you put it down the map and guess what it does? It pops the balloons for you, okay? Th this tower, no, it, it absolutely does not do that, so... At this point, I guess I'll upgrade the Spike Factory a little bit. We'll target you to close as well. I don't even think this is the right way that you even play this strategy, but you know what? We're, we're going to make it still work out here for us, okay? I guess, hmm, should I go with the White Hot Spikes? Technically, I probably should. But on top of that, I'm probably going to need a double mortar setup. This is going to be an expensive setup, bro. I ain't going to cap. Okay, so let me target you. Actually, get increased accuracy. Go for it, like, right there. Go for that. Bernie stuff, too. Oh, okay. Are you just all out of me? No, you sold the farms to go for a reactor. Bro, this game is literally all over the place. Oh, shoot. Wait. Okay. Forgot that uh, camo balloons still exist. Okay, you just use level three. 
but he's not even sending me anything. Okay, round 12 is here. I don't know. There, there's no way this setup defends, bro. There, okay, camel purples. We're fine against those, though. Okay. And now we have a decently dense pile of spikes more towards the back of the map in case my boomer just whiffs, which... Spoiler alert, it's definitely going to whiff. But I guess throughout these mid-game rounds, we're going to be max sequin with group black balloons. I even preset down a mortar just in case if I need to go for something crazy. I guess he's going to rebuild his farms. Again, like, I have no words for this game, bro, okay? But <laughs> we didn't even showcase the newly buffed upgrades on the boomerang monkey. Although, Kylie boomerang, you're not going to want to go for that until more class balloons and whatnot, okay? Which, by the way, with having the spike battery... Uh, that's actually going to help us out a little bit against future Moab class balloons. So that's nice because how in the world do I defend against Moabs with this strategy? I actually have no clue. He just used level 3. Oh, okay. So with level 3 on Star Captain, he should be sending me rainbows to get even more money out of that ability. But I guess our opponent just does not know the tech. All right, let's see what happens here. I did go over the white hot spikes. I'm not sure why. I mean, eventually I would like to go for a spike balls, but at the moment, it's a bit expensive. See, like, I can't even go for any, like, decent upgrades on the mortar, too, because they're just too expensive. Like, artillery battery to help us out. Can't go for that. It's way too expensive, bro. Okay, round 19 here. We hit 2k eco, which is really, really good, actually. I thought maybe he would try to send me a fortified mob, so that's why I pre-bought... Another boomer down here. I would like to even eco with pinks. I feel like at this point we're good too. And we do have to watch out for all of the balloon adjustment here. So I guess I will upgrade this a little bit. Maybe go for like a heavy shells or something. I don't know, man. I don't freaking know. Let's see how we defend with this setup. Let's see how we defend against a mob here on round 20. The AI mob, of course. And uh, so far, we haven't even put a den into it. Okay, a little bit. Let's crack down a little bit. Dude, like, look. See? My mob class balloons were non-existent, bro. Look at this. Kylie Boomerang, do your job. Okay. Okay, you didn't do too much right there. Okay, surely we're fine here, right? Against all this balloon adjustment. Level three. And then go for more glaives. Okay, because uh, he sent me a lot of zebras right there. That was kind of scary. Not going to lie, chat. But I think, honestly, with having the mortar, we should be fine against tight lead rushes on round 23. So long as we go for maybe an artillery batter. I, I hope an artillery batter can defend, right? I actually don't know that for a fact. I feel like I should send him something, though. Something that won't kill him, though. May I feel like tight leads wouldn't even be that good, though. Because he has so many bombs and stuff, obviously. So, yeah, probably would not be good. Okay, why are you going for the middle path upgrades? I don't like that. I don't like that, bro. He could be planning to IMF loan rush us. That's always, always a possibility. Why did you just tower boost? What is going on, bro? He's up to something, bro. He's up to no good, man. And he completely stopped decoying too, but he's using farm, so that kind of sort of makes sense. Maybe he was scared that I was going to rush him? Maybe? I... I guess? I know his farm game and everything, too, is terrible. So, realistically, we should have this in the bag, right? It's just, again, I don't know what I'm doing with the strategy. I know I haven't played the best at all. I know I played probably pretty terribly, but we're, we're still in this. That is what matters. And like I said, like I feel like we have currently the better setup now. We do have to watch out for tight mobs here on round 25, which if he sends those... I kind of want to give the Glaive Lord a little bit of love because I feel like the Glaive Lord would be really, really good against a tight Moab Rush. Now, Moab again here, though. Not too fun. Let's go for a Moab Press then. Yes, sir, baby. Push back that Moab for us. Okay, okay, Moab Press. I mean, you, you kind of did your job, but you, you kind of didn't as well. Dude, my ego is so bad, dude, with this, bro. Where did I, where did I go wrong? Okay, round 26 is here. Fortified Moab here, actually. Oh, shoot. That's actually kind of scary. Um, oh, yo, that's scary. That is scary, boys. I wanted to... I don't know. Let's go for a Spike Storm here, I guess. I guess I will. Yeah, screw it. Spike Mine's right here, too, on this bad boy. Because why not at this point? I'll try to hit 5k eco, but... Man, oh, man. This balloon adjustment is just not fun for us, dude. Not at all. Okay, just hold a farm. Okay, I'm not sure why he would do that. Because we can just do that, obviously. Glaive Lord. Yo, 
You tried with the hyper rush. You tried with the hyper dance moves. And you even star shifted and on the leads. But guess what, baby? The Glaive Lord comes out on freaking top. This is why the Boomer is my favorite tower, dude. I mean, come on now. He's just sent us a heart. Yeah, I think at this point, uh, he's accepted defeat. Now, I'm going to carry on this game, though. Even though he dies to one singular set of DDTs right now. I want to send him a BAD, I feel like, here on round 30. And then, of course, we're going to have to watch out for a potential counter rush now. He's probably going to end up sending me DDTs. That obviously would make the most sense here. So, what should I do? Good game. No, don't give up. Do not give up. Let's continue on this game here. But I feel like our best course of action is probably going for multiple spike storms. Now, all I need to do here is just send him an unfortified BAD. Because fortified BAD, I mean, for sure he can't defend against. But I feel like it's a little bit overkill. So, we'll send an unfortified BAD here. On round 30, we could even go... Oh, wait, 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 wait. If we go for Shattering Shells, Shattering Shells strips all special balloon properties off all but the biggest balloons. So I think what that means... Oh, wait. Does that work for DDTs? I don't even actually know. I hope it does. Round 30 is here. Because I kind of wanted to go for the mob domination if I can. I know it's pretty expensive, though. So. Gotta watch out for this. Okay, he already sold everything. He already sold everything. What what did he just go for? I don't even actually know. Is he going to die to the BFB, bro? Oh, my gosh. No, he's dead to the BFB, bro. No, he's not. Oh, yes, he is. <laughs> hey, yo, bro. We won. A win is a win. And a defend is a defend. But we got to play another. Okay, so I'll catch y'all there. So our boys going to be starting off with the Bomb Gwendolyn combo. And with this game, guys, I just want to have a better early game. That is straight up it. We might not go no lies loss here. Or, come on, Fedora. Yes, we're good. Now, if he sends us space yellows here, that's when I'm going to be a little bit concerned. Okay, so if he continues on sending group Tico, even group blues here, I think we're going to be absolutely fine. Now, I didn't even use, like, any of the middle path upgrades on the boom in the last game. So, we're also going to focus on that this time around. And now, he just started sending us blues. Okay, wait. Here come the space yellows. Not rock with that. Surely. Okay, I'm not chasing. I'm not chasing. I'm not chasing. So, surely I'm fine. Okay, I'm going to leak some lives, of course. Whatever. Let me send some space pinks. I don't have to go no lives lost here. It's fine. Mortar 2. Okay, wait, so if you're running Bomb Mortar, then why do you have Gwendolyn as your hero? Don't get me wrong, like, Gwendolyn's goaded, but with the Bomb Mortar combo, you're probably better off just running with Striker or Biker. The only kind of bad thing is, too, now with having this Glaive Ricochet, is that I'm probably going to be anti-stalling, aka popping the balloons right as they come off the map, which is not really good for our case since we do have a pure eco strategy, but so does our opponents, thus far at least. Why are you still only sending me... Okay, scratch that, grouped greens here. So, obviously, I'm going to have to cross path this with the bottom path. Maybe for now. I'm going to try to greed this. I'm not going to buy the red hot ranks. I'm not even sure if we need that technically for grouped greens. And, yep, let's finally go for that. Okay, beautiful. We had a much, much better early game this time around. But it's probably because our opponent was not sending the right balloons. He had a tower boost of the space blacks. Oh, no. Okay, it's not looking too good. Glue! What kind of strategy is he cooking up? Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, glue, bomb, mortar. It just, like, the, the synergy just does not seem like it's there, bro. Especially, too, with Gwendolyn again as his hero. But he used that level 3 ability. Oh, my gosh. Wait, he's, like, nearly dead here. What happened? <laughs> what happened, boys? He's not even ecoing now, too. Oh, my lord. lord. Okay, back to space blacks here. He's going to try to send us a few yellows. But we have a huge advantage on our opponent now. So I'm super, super hyped about that. I think I'm going to go with a mortar, of course, so that we can decamo. So this will be our signal flare. I can probably honestly even greed here with space zebras. So yeah, let's do that. Oh, wait. Is he struggling? He is. Looks like he's going to leak some lives. Let's go increase accuracy on that. Set target to you. I'm greeting out of my freaking mind. But I think I can get away with it, honestly. I really, really do. Because with Tower Boost and level 3, I think I'm fine against a round 11 rush. Okay, so back to Groot Reds here. Oh my gosh, he almost leaked again, bro. Let's buy that Signal Flare. Beautiful. Round 12 is about to be here. Okay, Space Rainbows it is. Instead of another Mortar, I'm actually going to go with the Boomer. 
Again, I don't know what I'm doing with the strategy, but one way or another, we're putting down towers that can pop balloons. Since when did he get to three lives? And he's crying? What? What happened? How are you still not good, though? You have three mortars, a glue, and a bomb. You should probably upgrade the bomb a little bit. If he went for a cluster bomb right there, he would definitely be chilling. But, like, dude, since he's, like, kind of all over the place, that lets me know that I am more likely in a position to where I can greed, which is why my defense sucks right now. I literally only have a signal player and a delay breaker ship right here and a non-upgraded boomer. So, pretty crazy stuff. But now I have a pretty decent amount of eco here coming up on round 17, uh, which we're definitely going to have to watch out for those mob class balloons. Do I just go with the middle path then? Do I try to defend with that or... Actually, probably not, right? Yeah, probably not. Wait, what is... Okay, so that has pretty decent range. Okay, yeah. Let's just stop equaling. Okay. I'm literally like, dude, I'm so scared. I'm actually... Okay, he's in a balloon boost too. Okay, we're good there. Okay. I don't care, bro. I don't care, bro. I straight up went for a turbo charge there, which is this the better cross path? I think it is. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure it is. But then we're gonna have to go for a balloon incineration to de lead like DDTs and whatnot. So we'll definitely make sure to eventually go for that. Now, if he sends me like a fortified mob here, surely like I'm not fine. I probably should have this on close first of all. Let's upgrade you a little bit more too in the back of the map. I would even like to send Zebra Eco here, but I don't want him to die at the same time you know so i guess then we'll just let him show oh wait it's looking not bad but a little spooky over on our side probably should rebuild at least a glaive ricochet here to help us out a little bit we could always 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 use a turbocharge ability too which i'm going to beautiful and then i'm gonna go for a deadly spikes here okay so that a lot of this deploy here on round 20 since round 20 is only one singular map so it's super super short of course but this guy he's gonna have to be aggressive i mean i had the life advantage by a long shot so should we try to go all the way to round 40 with this strategy probably not but I i'm kind of down but i am kind of scared about round 23 tight leads i wonder if going for another boomer Probably just a mortar. Mortar is like so good against the tight rushes. So yeah. Probably should just go with instead of that. So we'll go with at least an artillery battery here. He's gonna send a zebra eco too. Oh, you're so greedy. You're so greedy, bro. Wait, at this point, surely he could defend against zebra eco. Probably still would not be that smart for us to send, but we'll try it anyway. Oh wait, he's gonna worry about fortified ceramics. I'm gonna chill. Because I don't want him to die. Okay, no, he's good. He got artillery batter as well. So he should be full vibing. I know I'm sending the Zebra Eco pretty late here. It's round 24. But man, oh man, our Eco game is not the greatest. It could be worse. Definitely. Um, wait, what? How the heck did that camo get through? I even have the rapid reload. I mean, we do have a spike battery all the way in the back of the map. So, like, don't get me wrong. We're absolutely fine here. But we do have to watch out for even tight mobs here. He just said those. He just said those camo purples. <laughs> But we do have to watch out for the tight mob rush in the last game, bro. He used the level 10 ability on Star Captain Jericho to try to, like, starship it. Because it puts it, like, what, 20% the way through the track or something like that? Uh, but I, I heard the noise for the ability. And so that's why I decided to go with the Glaive Lord. Ooh, fortified, too. Oh, that's not fun. I, I can't lie. That is actually really not fun. So I probably should upgrade you to this. Let me get back to Pinky Go here, too, as well. But we do have Chains of Fate here. So I feel like Chains of Fate is honestly going to be able to uh, kind of clean up all the insides here. Okay, on this fortified ZLMG. Now, can I go for a boomer in here? Kind of going for a lot. He's laughing. Why are you laughing, brother? Why Why are you laughing, brother? Okay, I don't want to go for like too, too many Moab presses. I feel like at a certain point, it's like a little overkill, you know? But I'll make sure that my artillery battery is constantly... I'm hitting the ZOMG here. Okay, round 26 is here. I'm going to go for the Shattering Shells. I don't even know if this is worth, but I I feel like at this point, yeah, we can have this on uh, Fallout Mouse as well. So we do have the Spike Battery to help us out with Camel Balloons. Okay. Mar Press is still doing their thing. 
Kind of, sort of, because the, the hitbox on the ZOMG is quite large. It looks kind of bad here. I ain't going to lie. The Zebra Eco again? You're crazy, bro. He dies the one. Actually, no. He is a mob assassin. Oh, wait. Are we fine here? Okay. Okay. Probably should tower boost this. So, yeah. I'll tower boost. Then, like I said, we'll change the fate the insides here. No way for them to... Okay. Look at that. Chains of Fate, so good. It's so good, bro. It's so good, bro. Let's just stop Eco in here. It's round 28. It's so good, bro. Come on now. Come on. I, I guess I'll just leave you at this point. Because why not? But I do really want to go for the Perma Charge since it is 2k cheaper. But first, I'm going to go for the Perma Spike. Sorry, Perma Charge. Perma Spike is the better Perma. He did say good game, but like he's still constantly sending Zebra coach. <laughs> You, you gotta chill. I mean, look at your defenses. Look how far the, the mobs are even pushing. Is this gonna be another guy that dies to the BFB on round 30? Oh, if I, guys, I swear if that happens, I'm actually gonna be salty. But we got the perma charge up. Less freaking gold, baby. Like I said, like, should we at this point also have a balloon sin? I don't even freaking know. Like, does this set up defend a BAD? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. Okay, round 30 is here, though. B, F, freaking B. I swear, bro. You better be able to defend this. You better, you better, you better. Hey, defend is a defend. Fair play. Well done, my friend. So, should we send him? We could send him uh, Fortified B. D. Obviously, he can't defend against one. Okay, he's going to use level 10. And he's even struggling to this AI here. Yikes, yikes. He might die to round 31. He honestly might. Let's go for Bloonson then. And I will be on follow mouse. He is back to ecoing though. So yeah, I, I think I should probably just send him. Oh, popping off. Yo, he's got some money in the bank, bro. Yeah, it's here five. I thought he had like no money. <laughs> I honestly, oh, why would you use that ability though? Oh my goodness, dude. What? No, no, what are you doing? Okay, I do, I mean, Glaive Lord. It's not necessary. I don't even know, guys, what I go for. All right. Um. Wow, this looks really bad for him. Even with having the pop and all, bro. Even with having that. Okay, I gotta, I gotta put you out of your misery, bro. And balloon boost that. Oh, wait. Don't tell me he's actually dead to those. I thought he was fine against those. Good game. How, how is he struggling that much with the fortified maps? Come on, dude. At least try. Yes! Perma charge! Okay, perma charge. You did like nothing. Okay, we're good against that. What? Dude. Okay, whatever. We have a perma spike. It's fine. Okay. He's popping off. DDTs do nothing. I have a perma spike. DDTs do nothing. I have a perma spike. Look. Look at perma spike, baby. Look at perma spike go, baby. Come on. Do, don't I have balloons in? I feel like this is doing nothing. This is crazy to me, bro. Could always use Chains of Fate, too. <laughs> he said good game so many times, dude. Did he even put a dent into the BAD? I don't think he did. He's probably going to try to send me even more DDTs here, which I'm going to go for the biggest one. Oh, no. <laughs> he didn't even try, bro. Come on now. Wait, where was that fire? Wait, how did we have fire there? What? Okay, whatever, man. We got the win. We got to showcase the perma charge and whatnot. So that game was crazy, and so was the first one. And if you guys did enjoy, don't forget to drop a like on this one. And as well, if you haven't already or are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where the laser cannon is dumb. That's it. See ya.